Galarian's emergence in early 2000 came and went without much fanfare. Arriving nearly a full year after its Japanese counterpart, Crave would quietly localise this one and, with anticipation brewing for the PlayStation 2 and many a survival horror clone being released since Resident Evil's debut, it quickly left the collective consciousness of the gaming public. It's a shame, because although you can spot Polygon's magic's inspirations from a mile off, this psychic power take on horror is pleasantly enjoyable balancing the difficulty and design better than a lot of its contemporaries. Galarian's is far from perfect, dogged as it is by some noticeable translation issues, but genre experts may want to look further into this one. Rion awakens in a hospital, bound and injected with drugs that give him newfound psychic powers. Suffering an acute bout of amnesia, he has only the telepathic calls of a young girl to guide him. After escaping the facility, he looks to discover his past and purpose in this world. It's a dark, atmospheric tale that proves compelling through intriguing plotlines, an investable overarching mystery as to Rion's true identity and some unsettling antagonists you meet along the way. Gruesome violence of the kind that would make even Resident Evil blush only adds to the grim atmosphere. It's a shame, then, that some truly abysmal voice acting can snap you out of the story sometimes, especially with the weak localization seeing huge pauses in dialogue, uncanny lip syncing, and a slew of odd tones from the cast. It's all the more impressive, really, that the narrative remains compelling in spite of the botched job Crave would do of the translating. Administer the Nalcon. Won't that destroy his brain cells and prove fatal? It might, but we must follow the Clinic Chief's orders. Okay then. Galarian sticks closely to the survival horror formula. Rion is maneuvered using tank controls, as you navigate through pre-rendered environments and static cameras while combating enemies, looking for key items, and opening more rooms around the locales. Though spread across three discs, this one is average length for the genre, as it clocks in around 7 hours on a first run, and can be easily halved once you know what you're doing. Unlike traditional horror, Polygon Magic opt to take you to a handful of different locales, rather than simply opening up more of a mansion, police station, or small foggy town. It actually works quite well, as transporting you somewhere new stops the setting from getting worn out and each stage feels distinct from one another. There are a couple of key missteps though. Firstly, items are not highlighted in any way on the backgrounds, lacking a telltale shine to indicate there's something to pick up. This means you're sometimes left clicking randomly and hoping to find that key item needed to progress, and it's tedious. Though Rion can scan locked doors and other items to discern where key objects are located, you can be still left running between rooms trying to find said items. Galarian's also lacks the longevity of its peers, as while a secondary mode unlocks upon completion, adding a few new quirks to the game, it doesn't incentivize replays like the best in class. Rion, such strength! However, what this one lacks in value, it easily makes up for with the impact of its gameplay. The psychic warfare adds a unique flavour to Galarian's, changing the dynamic of the genre entirely. Rion comes equipped with a telekinetic blast, a pyro move, and eventually kinesis which lets him levitate enemies and drop them. It sounds like you would be overpowered, but there is a limit to these moves, as PPECs require drugs to replenish, and running out of these means you cannot use the powers at all. While Rion is limited by how much medicine he can carry, there's quite a bit to find to the point that you may end up filling your pouch multiple times throughout the game. Combat, despite this, is still tricky, as charging your powers is needed to get the most out of them, and the slew of foes, ranging from armed guards to powered freaks, 
can easily slash at you before you have chance. Bosses particularly test your aptitude, as potent attack patterns and small timing windows add the pressure, though mercifully you can restart bosses instantly, even though manually saving at junctions is required. There are a couple of other cool moments and elements too. As you take damage, move around the environment, and use powers, Rion's AP meter builds, and it eventually fills to the point that trying to use your power causes a short, where Rion loses control of his mind and is slow to a crawl. It sounds bad, but interestingly, this mode can be used to instantly kill almost any foe in the vicinity, including the first boss fight and though you take damage the longer you stay in it, it proves a tactical advantage worth exploiting, as a certain pill instantly snaps him out of it. Though the initial facility stage isn't much to write home about, the creepy mansion setting which is beset by powered foes feels intense. The subsequent level taking place in a worn down motel is also compelling, where as you uncover more information, a serial killer kills off other guests one by one in ever gruesome fashion, upping the ante as you play. It's moments like this which help this one stand above the many competing clones out there. <laughs> Galarian's presentation much like Crave's translation, is a mixed bag. Pre-rendered backgrounds prove the visual highlight, a selection of darkly lit and unsettling slides which immerse you in the semi-futuristic world that still has a pang of the contemporary there. The aforementioned gruesome murders from the third chapter are perhaps the standout. Unfortunately, the character models and other 3D objects look lacklustre in comparison, a step behind other survival horror with poorly defined human anatomy. It's a sharp juxtaposition, though the highs generally outweigh the lows. The sound benefits greatly from an unsettling, creepy score, which rises and falls perfectly with the handful of jump scare moments. The effects, though not always the clearest, do the job well, particularly the vulgar squelch when foes are internally torn apart by short bursts. Galarian's was an interesting beast, and one which ultimately proves worth a look. While it doesn't match the best of the survival horror class due to some unfortunate missteps, Polygon Magic found a way to craft a distinctive alternative thanks to potent psychic powers, a slew of compelling moments, and an unsettling story that proves darkly absorbing. While the lack of replay value refinement in some spots and a worthy translation is a shame, those who have grown exhausted with more lacklustre RE clones may find this one to be a rough diamond in the collection.